In this tutorial, I'll be showing you how to create gradient shadow text like this in Adobe Illustrator. The first thing you need to do is create some text. Then pull out your appearance panel. If you don't have it already open, you'll find it under Window. You'll want to add two new fills. Click on the filled square to the left of the FX icon. The first fill will be the color of your text. And the second one will be whatever color or gradient you want to use for the shadow. Select the second fill and click Add a new effect. Choose Transform under Distort and Transform and you'll get this dialog box. There's only three things you'll need to change. But before we do that, be sure to check the box on Preview so we can see our work. Under Move, change Horizontal and Vertical to 0.5. Depending on the direction that you want the shadow to go, you may want to do negative 0.5. In this example, I want the shadow to go to the bottom left. This means I would want the horizontal number to be negative. Then change the number of copies to about a thousand. And depending on how long you want the shadow, you may need to go back and adjust. So here, I want it to be a little bit longer, so I change the horizontal to negative 0.6 and vertical 0.6. You can play around with these settings if you want a different angle to your shadow, but when you're ready, press OK. Now we want to go back to that second fill, press the little arrow, and change the color. You can do a solid color, but I want to show you what a gradient looks like. I find the best results work for a subtle gradient, rather than a harsh one with multiple colors. To finish off the design, I'll create a rectangle, send it to the back, and set it to the same gradient fill but maybe rotate it so there's a subtle difference and the text doesn't just blend right in. To cut the shadow to the artboard, draw another rectangle over the artboard, select both the new rectangle and the shadow, and create a clipping mask out of it. Just for fun, let's try to create a few other color combinations. And what's great about this effect is that it's fully editable. It doesn't outline the text. So if you decide to change your text later, it'll update automatically. And that's how simple it is to create a gradient text shadow in Adobe Illustrator. If you found this tutorial helpful, give it a like and subscribe for more. Leave a comment below and let me know what tutorial would you like to see next.